Thank you very much. I'm Scott Williams, uh, 2454 Clearbrook Circle, Village of Howard, District 23. Uh, earlier this year, I ran for a seat on the Brown County Board. I was on the ballot in District 23. When I was out knocking on doors and talking about issues with people, one of the questions I heard most often was, what political party are you running with? Are you running as a Republican? Are you running as a Democrat? And my answer was always the same. I'm running as a nonpartisan. The office I'm seeking is nonpartisan. It's one of the things I find most appealing about serving on the county board. The people who serve down here are supposed to work together and do what's best for their constituents and for the county, not what's popular with some political party. The response I heard from people was usually twofold. First, they agreed that county government should be conducted that way in a nonpartisan environment. That's how they want to be represented down here. But they also were surprised, surprised to learn that the elected members of the Brown County Board are by definition nonpartisan. And who could blame them? Who could blame people for being a little confused when you see this sort of thing? This is a copy of our local newspaper, the Green Bay Press Gazette. It's from a few weeks ago. It includes a personal commentary on politics written and published by a cur current member of the Brown County Board, the nonpartisan Brown County Board. I won't read the whole thing. I'll just give you a few snippets to give you a flavor. And for those of you keeping score, uh, this one's a Republican. Uh, I pen this open letter to express sadness yet hope for the future of our Republican Party. This week, the GOP, the GOP convened to establish our party platform. Those are strong, great positions that I strongly support. I am proud that our party stands for those things. Does that sound like somebody committed to nonpartisan public service? Like someone who ran for elected office to uphold Brown County's proud tradition of nonpartisan government? Well, I wouldn't be standing here tonight if this were the only recent example of that sort of thing. Unfortunately, you don't have to look very far or try very hard to find other examples of Brown County board members or candidates issuing loud public pronouncements of their partisan bias or brazenly associating themselves with partisan groups or courting favor from partisans, Republicans and Democrats alike, or worst of all, allowing partisan money into their campaigns, literally using partisan money to mislead voters into electing them to a nonpartisan office. Is it any wonder that the public is confused or that the public has lost confidence with that, I offer the following resolution for your consideration. You should each have a copy of this in front of you. A resolution before the Brown County Board to reaffirm the county's commitment to nonpartisan government. It's not that long, I'll be quick. Whereas Brown County government was created in the year 1818 and has established a rich and productive history of nonpartisanship based on office holders coming together to represent residents in good faith without partisan influence, Whereas the term nonpartisan means that members of the Brown County Board are entrusted by voters, taxpayers, and other residents to conduct the county's business free from bias, particularly toward any political party. Whereas voters in Brown County have demonstrated support for nonpartisan government by participating in strong numbers over several decades in nonpartisan elections for Brown County Board. Whereas every current sitting member of the Brown County Board is enjoying the privilege and honor of service, public service, because voters entrusted him or her to serve with integrity by upholding the county's tradition of nonpartisan government. Whereas partisanship in government has often contributed to a culture of divisiveness and extremism that is contrary to the best interests of those who depend on government to act in the public's best interests. Whereas the current state of politics in America including during the 2016 presidential campaign, has allowed destructive partisanship to saturate public discourse, undermining public confidence in elected leaders in Brown County and elsewhere, whereas the current code of ethics for Brown County board members requires them to exhibit impartiality and ensure public confidence in the integrity of county government or face possible penalties that include removal from office. Whereas allowing partisan influences to creep further into Brown County government would undermine the county's credibility, 
would foster public distrust and would jeopardize the ability of elected office holders to decide public policy issues based solely on the public's best interests. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Brown County Board does hereby recommit itself to upholding a tradition of nonpartisan government by conducting all county business without regard for political party loyalties or other undue outside influences, be it further resolved that each member of the Brown County Board does hereby acknowledge and accept his or her responsibility to represent the people of Brown County without partisan influence and does hereby agree to abide by that responsibility throughout his or her term in office. I know I can't call for a vote on this resolution. I, I know I can't even officially move to introduce it. As a private citizen, I don't have that authority. But every single one of you does have that authority. I hope there's at least one of you out there who is willing to take a stand for nonpartisanship and introduce this resolution to the board. Mr. Chairman, I think it would be most fitting for you as the leader of this board to introduce this resolution yourself and carry it forward, making sure that it comes back here for a full vote where the public can see and hear the results. I would hope the results would be unanimous approval. If there's anybody here who cannot wholeheartedly get behind this resolution and live by it for the next two years, I think you need to look in the mirror and ask yourself, whose interests are you really representing down here? Yeah, but can, I, you, can you wrap it up, Mr. Williams? But I hope it is approved unanimously and that all of you will send this message to the whole county. Work to begin to rebuild the public's trust that all of you on the Brown County Board are here to do the people's business, not your party's business. The people are watching. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Williams.